What need does PetFlow.com answer? Uh, simply put, it eliminates the chore of pet ownership. Uh, most pet parents have to run out to the store last minute and lug home a heavy bag of food on a regular basis, whether it be three weeks or four weeks. And with PetFlow.com, they set an easy delivery schedule, choose how often they want the food, which food they'd like, and it just magically arrives at their door. Now, how do you compete with sites such as Amazon.com or Wag.com or places that aren't necessarily special for pet parents, but they are retailers and online retailers at that. Well, so uh, competition is a, is a weird thing. The pie is just so big. It's a $53 billion industry. And, and That's a huge sum of huge, money. Huge, huge. And unfortunately, most people don't even know that they can go online to have pet, uh, pet food delivered. Uh, so we rarely run into Amazon or WAG or any of the other. Uh, for $53 billion, it sounds like the pie is big enough for a few players. Absolutely. Then what is your biggest challenge? Is it, is it getting your name out there, or adding scale? What is uh, it? it? It's all of those things. So we spend a lot of money on advertising uh, and making sure that we have the right products in our warehouse. Uh, right now we have almost $5 million worth of inventory in our warehouse and we try to get orders out immediately as soon as they're placed. So there's a logistical challenge in getting the products out and there's also the advertising challenge of letting people know that we exist. What about the funding? So you are self-funded, you also have taken outside capital. Uh, I know you're thinking about accepting more outside Absolutely. capital. What are you going to do with the money? Uh, it's uh, increasing our inventory, spending more money on user acquisition, on advertising, making more people aware that uh, that we exist, hiring more qualified staff. We're in New York. It's a tough, uh, tough market to find qualified people. Uh, and it Was just, it a hard sell at all, Alex, to get more money, or is it the money flowing pretty freely these days? Uh, it's we have a lot of inbound interest from VCs. I think that, you know we we did almost two, uh, just over two million dollars in sales last month. So we actually have a business that's generating profit, that's generating a lot of revenue, and that's growing very quickly. Uh, so the, there's been a lot of interest, but you know it's a, it's still a challenge. You still have to convince people to give you money. And I know one thing that you've been doing more on the product side has been not off just offering pet food but there's also pet products and Correct. I know you said there was at one point a link where that went out through Facebook right where it says yeah. is your pet anxious yes and then people clicked on that and then got sent to your yeah, site so we we have we just posted a question do you have a, do, does your pet have anxiety which and is a have, perfect question for New Yorkers is. because yeah. New Yorkers have so much anxiety their pets it must be anxious their pets, as well yeah. so we had tens of thousands of people click on that link we happen to be selling a product called a thunder shirt which is a, a swaddling product that you put on a on a pet that calms them down and we generally generated hundreds of sales from that uh, from our 500,000 Facebook fans. So we, you know, we view ourselves as a product introduction engine other than just a uh, pet product retailer. And is that use, I'm not trying to be funny, is that in use in storms or is it just when your pet is anxious uh, at all times? At, at any time. If they have separation anxiety during storms or if they're just yappy and you want to calm well, them I down. Well, I live on the Upper West Side and I see dogs in dog strollers, so I'm <laughs> willing to believe that 53 billion number that you put out there for, for pet care. From your experience, though, as a founder, do you feel like there is a bubble? Do you feel like if when you talk to your buddies who are also running companies that there's just so much money out there? Does there this is. Concern you? Uh, there's a lot of companies being funded on just a, an idea or a dream, and I, I think that uh, it, it, that's very healthy for the economy. You want a lot of companies to be started, and you want a lot of VCs to be committing capital. So. Um, in terms of a bubble, I think it helps the economy, even if it is some sort of a bubble. So it, I don't think it's a bad thing. Interest does not necessarily mean a bubble. Exactly.